everybody, I'm Matteo. Now I welcome you here in my RC garage to show you some key features of HPI's Venture RC Scale Crawler. As first, to remove the body, we have to swing away this spare tire holder. Of course, this does not improve the performance of the car, but it's a cool feature as real off-roaders have also. The motor is installed in front over the front axle. The complete drivetrain is equipped with ball bearings and all gears are made in metal. This makes it very tough. The battery holder is located at the rear. The car has a three-link suspension at the rear and front. And here you can see some metal parts are installed on this chassis. The shock and rolling mounts are made in solid aluminum. These parts are not only very strong, but also it improves the look of the car, especially with the diff covers in metal. Also, the steering linkage has some metal parts and looks very strong. A nice feature is the dual spring setup. The short spring on the top is soft and compensates the smaller hits and the larger firm spring catches the larger hits on rough terrain. The dampers are filled with oil and with alloy cylinders they work very smooth and soft. The steering servo is installed on the chassis beside the motor over the front axle. The steering linkage works fine and this pan hard bar provides a precise and stable steering control also when the axle moving over big obstacles. The steering linkage is installed behind the front axle and so out of the way from rocks and roots on the ground. And it gives a nice scale appearance to the truck. Now, let's go back on the trails. Later in this video I'll show you some small modifications and tips. Here we are, back in my garage. Included in the box is this 2000 mA nickel metal hybrid battery. But I like to use this 2S LiPo battery with more as the double of capacity. But these LiPos are a bit longer as nickel metal hybrid batteries and now the battery holder cannot be closed. I found a very simple solution for this. 
As first, I remove the cover with this screw. Then I use this velcro band around the battery holder. Now, the battery can easily insert it and fix it with this band. And it holds perfect. You can buy these velcros in every hardware store or in your hobby shop. Another important thing is the endpoint adjustment function on the transmitter. With these screws, the endpoints of each channel can be adjusted. Throttle is not so important, it should be adjusted to the maximum. But the steering should be adjusted correctly, otherwise the servo can be damaged or you have a very poor turning radius. As first I have to set dual rate to the max. I turn this knob fully clockwise. Then I turn the steering wheel completely and adjust the end point on each side with the screw. The servo should not mechanically blocking at the end. How about the waterproofness? The ESC is fully waterproof. And the receiver is also waterproof and it's additionally protected in this box. But the steering servo is only water resistant. So the manual says the car should not go in completely underwater. But it can be used in wet conditions like rain, snow and mud without problems. The body is made from thin polycarbonate and nice painted, with matte black fenders. The driver figure is not included, it's the 4x4 driver figure from Tamiya. I use a simple aluminium plate to install it on the body. It's very easy. Not a complex interior, but it gives a much better look in the video, when a driver sits in the cabin. So, enough talking in my garage. Let's go again on the trails.